Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. I am here today, formally beginning to return our messages to you. It is interesting to observe the way you live each moment. Many people only think about themselves, about what they no longer have, they can't see the other side, they can't be grateful for what they already had, they only think about what's good for them, at that moment. But I'm not going to start here, wanting to bring up feelings of low vibration in each of you. I would just like to talk about a single point. You have been prepared for some time, you already know a lot, you have heard us say a lot, you have learned a lot. But many things you still cannot part with. I say this, everything in your world is the result of what you think and emanate. This world that is there, that you live in, was not created by Father or Mother God, in the sense of all this disharmony that exists on your planet, this was all created by you over eons of time. So this is the most important point that I want to emphasize now, what you emanate. I really like giving examples, putting together images, because you adapt very well when we put images. So imagine that you are walking in a large group, group size doesn't matter much, but it is clear that the larger the group, the greater the influence, the greater the energy emanated. So you are walking across a very large plain, where up front you only see the horizon, nothing else. Then there are those who, when they see the horizon line, just think, we are walking towards the unknown, but I trust that this is the right path, and that whatever happens, it will be for my learning and my evolution. And some who are around this citizen who thinks this way, emanate the same energy, agree with him. Another group looks at that horizon line and thinks, no, we are heading towards a cliff, we will have no way out, we will all die because we will have nowhere to go. We need to find a place to shelter, but there is a cliff up ahead. And many begin to share that citizen's feeling of fear and despair. And then there is another group, who look at that horizon line and don't know what to think. Listen to the first group and agree, listen to the second and also agree. So it's a group that, as you like to say, is on the fence, they don't know what to think. It's that group that goes according to other people's opinions, doesn't have much of its own will, doesn't have much definition in what it thinks, it goes by whoever arrives first and makes a suggestion, he goes. So there are three large groups that are walking towards the horizon line. Then I ask a question, who is right? That group that thinks they will get there and that whatever they have to go through will be good for their evolution, for their learning and they begin to emanate this with so much strength, so much faith, that they can even see that it is not a cliff, that is just a small elevation and further ahead, you will have a clear path to follow. Those who think it is a cliff see no other way out, they think they will reach the edge exhausted, tired and will simply die of hunger and thirst because there will be nothing to do. And they also emanate this with great strength, with great faith, that there is no longer a way out, there is no way. And that third group simply stops, because they don't know where to go. Sometimes they think that there will be a path ahead, sometimes they think that it will really be a cliff, and that they will die of hunger and thirst. So I ask you, how do you fit this into your world? And I answer myself, that first group is that group that no matter what comes, no matter what appears, no matter what is said, trusts, has faith, that even if they get there and there is a cliff, they you will find a corner in the mountain to go down. Because they believe and trust that it will not be the end, it will just be a big obstacle to be overcome, possibly or not. No matter what will come, they believe, they simply surrender to the flow, with faith, with strength, with confidence. No matter what they are asked, no matter what they are given to eat, no matter what they are given to drink, they trust. Who know that that food, that drink, may even be poisoned, but they trust so much in their path, so much in the beings of light that are around them, that they will eliminate everything bad that was put in what they are giving them to eat and drink. 
and they are sure that they will reach the end of the journey with a lot of faith, with a lot of light. And they keep walking, because on this long road, they need to eat, they need to drink. And no matter what is being given to eat and drink, they trust, they believe and they know that they need to eat and drink to stay alive, to stay active, to walk, because the path is still very long, the horizon line is still very far away. You can't deny that food and drink, even if they are supposedly poisoned. But they trust, they have faith, so they eat and drink. Some even feel a little sick, but they continue to believe. And they get up and continue forward, because they trust. And no matter what obstacle was put in place, they trust. And if that drink, that food that was poisoned, did him so much harm that it caused him to perish, they are sure that it was the decision of his own soul to do that at that moment. It wasn't the food, it wasn't the drink, the food and drink were just the means by which his soul chose to leave. And they move forward, fed with plenty of liquid in their bodies and moving forward, with a lot of faith and a lot of light. And then comes the second group, that group that doesn't trust anything. They look at that water, they look at that food and they don't eat it because they're afraid of dying, they're afraid of getting poisoned. So they prefer not to eat, they prefer not to drink the water and starve to death, because they won't reach the horizon. And since that horizon line is a cliff, so I'm going to get tired and go there, I'll die right here. And they don't eat and they don't drink. And they effectively die due to lack of water and food, because they don't trust anything they only see the negative side of everything. That water could be food for that moment, protection for that moment. But they don't believe in anything, they only believe in what half a dozen say, they don't believe in the beings of light, they don't believe in anything. So they don't eat, they don't drink and they continue their journey. And do you know where they will end up? Nowhere, because they won't go long without that water and that food. Because they said the food was poisoned, they said the drink was poisoned, they believed it. So I can tell you that even if the drink and the food were not poisoned, they would die from the poison of their own belief, their own way of thinking, because that is what they believe. If I drink, if I eat, of this drink and this food, I will die. May your will be done, you have just emanated your future. That water, that drink, that food, could not be poisoned, could be your passport to reach that horizon line. But you don't believe in anything, you don't have anyone around you, you don't accept that someone could be watching over you. No, not that. I prefer to believe that they are trying to kill me. Very well, this is your choice. The third group, half eats and drinks, half doesn't eat and doesn't drink, because they are on the fence. Some follow the first group and some follow the second group. So let's go, as time passed, what happened to the three groups? The first, some people didn't arrive, why? Because it was in the nature of his soul, not to get there, it was the moment his soul decided to leave, it was already very tired and decided to leave. In the second group, no one arrived. Why didn't anyone arrive? Because no one trusted, no one believed, no one protected themselves, no one fed their body, no one fed them what was necessary, because they believed they were going to die, if you made a choice, you really died. And the third group, the group that followed the first, is getting there ahead. And what's most important, when they reached the edge of the horizon, it wasn't a cliff, it was just a small descent. So I want you to think about this story I created. You are and you receive what you emanate. You can eat poison, but if you believe that there is a being of light around you, not one, several, and that these same beings are attentive to your path, and before you eat that poison, they have already removed everything, everything that poison could harm you, you can eat and drink anything. Because you trust, because you believe. Now you exude fear. You join a minority, who actually ask themselves where they want to go, implanting fear, 
implanting suffering, implanting doubt. And where does this all lead? The fear, the doubt, where does it lead? I think this has already been explained enough. The more doubt, the more fear you emanate, the less light you have, because fear and doubt do not match the light. I'm tired of saying here, either you trust or you don't trust. There is no such thing as half-hearted trust. Ah, I'm afraid, but I need to go that way. And you go along the path in fear. What will you attract on this path? Firstly, your heart is already angry, because you were forced to go that path, and you believe that on that path, everything bad will happen to you. So I can only say to you, that you are emanating this and you will get back what you emanated. So I simply want you to put everything I said, in every point of your lives, in everything you feel during the day. Not just on a single subject, not just on a single focus. What you put your attention on, you put your focus on, and then what you are emanating will count. If you emanate confidence as you walk, well done, move forward, believing, in your own way. Ah, but the other follows his path in another way. Are you the other, are you a puppet that has to do what the other does? So each of you take your course, each of you make your choice, but don't try to push others on the same path. Each person makes their own decision, their own way of walking and stay to themselves, because when you spread doubt, spread fear, spread a lack of trust, a little while later you come complaining that nothing happens. So I ask you, why are there so many doubts? Why are you so afraid? Why is there so much discussion about these issues? What is the objective? I answer, take you out of focus, take you away from the focus that is only one, the elevation of the light within you. Now, the elevation of light does not combine with doubt, it does not combine with a lack of faith, it does not combine with a lack of trust, are incompatible. So, whoever thinks he is preaching something that he thinks is right for himself and for everyone, is preaching what, the light. Or are you preaching more doubt, more lack of trust, more fear in those around you? And then I remind you again that you are helping the other side. And does that explain why nothing happens? Why doesn't anything happen? Because you can't keep the vibration high. You welcome doubt, you welcome fear, you welcome a lack of trust and faith in the beings of light that are around you. We are not here sleeping, nor are we swinging in the hammock, dozing, we are working hard to destroy everything that is there. But you don't believe and you continue vibrating doubt, vibrating the lack of trust and vibrating all of this towards the whole. Congratulations to you, my congratulations, because you are making the other side roll on the floor with laughter. Because that's what they want, that's what they say, that's what the media says, and you fall like ducks doing exactly what they want. I'll end by saying just one thing, it's everyone's decision. Trust whoever you want. Don't trust, who doesn't want to trust. Now keep your opinion to yourself. You don't need to spread your opinion, keep it to yourself, make your decision, don't pass on your supposed decision to someone else. Because you need to have each other's support to effectively say, see, he won't do it either, so I won't do it either. Puppet, you have to do what the other person does, not what your conscience tells you. So no matter what your decision is, it's yours, make it for yourself not for others, not for others. Everyone makes their choice, everyone exercises their free will. Now, do this alone, don't influence that third group that doesn't know what to do. Because there is always someone who is on the fence, waiting for someone else's opinion to take their own. And you, just increase the platoon of the third group. What's more, they corroborate and emphasize that second, not trusting anything, doubting everything, questioning. So you are making a choice. Vibrate this, keep vibrating this. Understand the following, we are not the ones who are going to ascend. You want to ascend. 
so whoever is in that first group, trusting everything, no matter what comes, trust, I guarantee you that it will go away. Because there will come a point when they will no longer be able to afford to stay here in Tersera. Now you who are there fighting, arguing, whether it goes to the right or to the left, you will continue there, because doubt reigns in your hearts. And where there is doubt, there is no trust, no faith, where there is doubt there is no light, there is anything but light. So this message is for each of you to do a self-analysis. Don't comment on each other. It's not commenting, ah, what did you think of what he said? Everyone will have their own understanding, and I say more, many will be angry at what I said here. Very well, everyone will emanate what they want, there is no problem. You have your right to think and act. Make your own decisions. Don't take it in a group. Stop acting based on other people's opinions, the opinion has to be yours. Are you not strong enough to question? So be strong and brave enough to maintain your opinion independent of the group. He finished. You made your decision, it is not the group that will make you keep it or change it. Understand this. The decision is up to each person. Now, if you want to follow like Hertz, perfect. Then don't come and ask us why nothing happens. Because the critical mass that should raise the light on this planet is more concerned with discussing whether they are going to eat strawberries or whether they are going to eat bananas. Instead of simply thinking about eating. Think a lot about it. You are walking in a way that is dangerous for yourselves. How long will we have to insist that the journey is solitary? It is not in accordance with the idea, will, or opinion of the other. Until when? How long will you not be able to make your own decisions? They always have to walk like a herd. Why? I answer, because you don't trust anyone. And having others think the same way as you is justifiable. Ah, I did it because he did it. It wasn't your fault, you did it because he did it. Because you are not brave enough to take your opinion alone, you want to take it together with others so that you are not to blame, you followed along with them. Think about it. What are you attracting to your walk? You are playing their game. Think about it. If you want to make a decision, make it alone and that's it. Nobody has anything to do with this. Now don't spread the decision around to have the support of others, so you don't feel alone. And everyone makes their choice. Listen very carefully and take a path. And I will insist, whoever doubts, whoever does not trust, whoever questions, is turning off the light in their heart.